Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I'm going to make this a little bit tighter because my sweat fest is going to make it fall out. So good morning. As you can see, I'm just finishing off my superfood shake. I didn't have, well, I had my alarm set, but I thought I hit snooze and I guess I hit off. So I woke up an hour later than normal, which is okay because my kiddos did not have to go to school. So I'm just going to do a couple things this morning and then get my workout done and then take my shower, wake them up. And this mama is taking the morning off. I'm not doing my side hustle. I'm not doing anything but just enjoying quality time with my kids. We're gonna watch a movie or something. Um, because with working, I haven't been able to see them as often. Like I was able to see them every single day. And then working at the salon, there's nights I'm not here, there's weekends I'm not here. So I'm just gonna soak up the time because they have no school. Um, good morning, Becca. Good morning, mom. So. I don't know if you guys have watched my stories or anything like that or seen my post from yesterday, but I've been on the struggle bus. Um, and it's not with my journey. I mean, I guess it's my journey, so to speak, because it's life. <laughs> but, um, and guys, side note, I've been, like, how funny do my lashes look right now? Because I've been letting, just letting them fall off, and then I've been, like, wiping off my eye makeup with, um, like coconut oil just trying to like extra moisturize my eyes and stuff and I know the oil will help these loosen up and fall off because I was before all of this stuff happened before life happened I made the decision to give my lashes like a little bit of a break so they look kind of funny there's still some there um but anyways so um I wanted to chat with you guys because you know I'm struggling like everybody else does and all I keep telling myself is just to put one foot in front of the other and be proactive and not just sit around hmm, and mopey and just find a solution and so I wanted to share that with you guys because I know other people are on the same struggle bus as me or have been on the struggle bus or you'll definitely be on the struggle bus at some point in your life and um, you know so you guys know that I was working at the salon um, with Natalie and I had my side hustle going on but I also had like a commission-based job where I just strictly made commission so it wasn't like the same check every time I got a check every paycheck um, which was like bi-weekly it was a commission base so I never knew what was coming in but it was always a decent amount and that had my health insurance came out of that um, and that's no longer so I have to try to find something where I can get a salary base or at least a decent hourly rate and insurance benefits it'd be great if I can do 401k because I don't have retirement um, so I've been you guys know me and I'm such a planner and I, I knew this was eventually going to happen and I knew it was eventually going to come um, and when I was looking for the job and I took the job with Natalie I even said to Alex I should probably just get a full-time job because I know this commission job isn't gonna it's not gonna last I just have a gut feeling it's gonna be soon that it's gonna be done and I should have just listened to my intuition I mean I talk about this with you guys all the time listen to our intuition I'm just trying to tell us something um, but anyways, so right now I am in search of a full-time job that can give uh, health benefits. And people ask me like, well, what do you wanna do? Well, you know what, like I've worked, seriously guys, I think I've worked every job out there besides like a garbage man or garbage woman. Like I, over my lifetime, have worked so many different types of jobs. I've been an assistant, I've been a legal secretary, I've worked at a title company, I've been a marketer for a title company, I have worked a short sale department, I have worked in sales. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I felt that one coming from my toes, that felt good. <laughs> I've worked sales, many different types of sales jobs. Um, I've worked and still work in network marketing. So like I've worked so many jobs. I even worked like front desk at a dental office, front desk at a periodontal office. Like I've done so many different types of jobs. So I don't even know what I'm looking for. But the reason why I titled this video of sometimes you just want to quit 
It's because there's going to be times like this in life where you feel like a complete failure. Um, you know, at this point of my side hustle, my health and fitness business that I have going, I expected it to financially be in a way different place than it is. Um, and it's not. And that's, it, it is what it is. Hey, Jen. So, you know, it's hard to not feel like, okay, I failed with this. Um, I failed at building that. I'm still trying to build real estate, so I can't say that I failed with that because it's still being built. Um, I actually have a phone call this weekend um, with the gentleman that has a handful of properties that he wants to sell, so fingers crossed that works out um, and I can get those on the market for him. That would be a great help. Um, but I wanted to talk talk all of these thoughts out loud because I'm, I'm trying to keep a positive mind with this and where my mind is going right now is the fact that the universe obviously is pushing me in a different direction for a purpose hey Deborah, do I know what that purpose is right now absolutely not and I won't figure it out right now either because when you're in the mix of the emotional things as you guys can tell it's been emotional for me um, I have definitely done my share of tears last night I was stressed out and I just wanted to sleep and I felt tired but I couldn't sleep I felt like my heart was pounding out of my chest so it's like 11 o'clock at night and the tears are coming and I'm online looking for jobs and applying where I can because I'm not one to just sit back and be like oh well if that's not me that has never been me that will not be me um, I know what I need to do to take care of myself and my children and Alex and I'm going to do that um, but I really do wish that one of my businesses whether it was real estate or Beachbody was more built at this point um, so I wouldn't have to worry about anything like I would just have to worry about finding like decent insurance for not super expensive um, because that's my thing is we need health insurance Alex and I need health insurance especially me with the cancers that I've had um, and the, the almost cancer here I need to make sure that we have health insurance hey Becky so there's so many times in life that you get hit with bricks in the face and sometimes in those moments we feel like we want to quit in those moments we feel like it's like oh my god like what else is the universe gonna throw at me right throw at me we need to we need to change the mindset with that and not look at it like what the universe is throwing at us it's where the universe is trying to guide us the universe has the steering wheel of our life and it's it's guiding me somewhere I just don't know where it's guiding me hey Katie how's our little pumpkin doing so don't don't quit in life when you're struggling like this don't don't throw in the towel it's okay to have the pity party every once in a while it's okay to let the tears roll because you can't hold those emotions in because that's when anxiety and panic sets in you got to let them out but don't dwell and that is my goal today is I'm not gonna dwell I'm gonna put some ice on these bad boy bags of mine because I do have to go into the salon this afternoon so I'm gonna do the morning with the kids after my workout they'll get up and we'll do our thing but I'm sharing this with you guys because I want you to realize that it's it really is a mindset thing in life like my mindset is shifting because it needs to shift I can easily go down a dark hole like Alice in frickin' Wonderland and be stuck in some shit. But I don't wanna go there. I just want to find, hey Elizabeth, I just wanna find a solution and I, I'm, I'm gonna be on it. I wanna be proactive with it. Um, you know, I have put my feelers out there. Like I, I reached out to my girl Katie, I reached out to my friend Jen, she's more like family. Um, just to be like hey if you hear anything please just give me the information and let me find out what it's all about just please just let me know because I'm looking I put my feelers out there because you know they my friends are in all different places all different types of jobs so who knows what's out there I don't know what's out there I'm in my little old house here so I'm, I, I just 
I wanted to talk with you all about this because I think it's super important to make sure when you're going through a struggle, whether it's you don't have a job and you're looking for a job, whether it's, you know, you want to get on a journey of health and fitness, whether it's, you know, you're going through a divorce, whatever your struggle may be at this time, let's shift this mindset together. I, I needed to change that one word of what the universe is throwing at me and make it more about what, where is the universe, like, I'm trying to find excitement in this. Like, what's next? What's the next chapter in Tanya's world? Because with all the shit that I've been through, I can write a few books <laughs> about Tanya's world. So I'm trying to find excitement. Like, okay, what's the new, the new chapter? What is this new thing that the universe is guiding me to? You know, I mean, do I wish this would have not happened in the holidays? Yeah. Um... But I'll get through, you know. Do I want a Christmas where there's not a lot of gifts under the tree for my kids? No, but I'll figure it out. Um, I always do. I, I, I've been here before. At least I have, hey Adriana, at least I have my side hustle and real estate to bring in a little bit of money, but I don't really have any deals right now with real estate, but hopefully this weekend that will change. So just knowing that something's possibly in the works. But guys, life is hard. There's struggles. There's what we call bricks to the face, walking into walls, falling and can't get up. But you know, like I truly believe that even though I am struggling bad right now, I truly believe just the universe is trying to send me in some sort of direction. Like I said, what it is I have no idea. But the universe is definitely trying to send me into a direction. And I have to find some sort of excitement with it. Like, I am excited to see where I end up. I am excited to see where I go and what this new chapter is going to be. I definitely know that I don't want to, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. I have to take whatever jobs are out there. But I definitely would rather a job where I'm not working nights and weekends because that really pulls on my heartstrings with my kids. But... Whatever's out there is out there. I mean, Alex pays the house bills. I would like to contribute to that. I would like to. I would like to split that with him. I'd like to contribute or him. Him give me some bills that I take care of. However, we figure it out. But I'd like. To, I'd like to help. I'd like to feel worthy a little bit. Like right now, I feel a little worthless. I feel a little failure-ish. But that will pass. Um, I can't dwell on those thoughts and dwell on those feelings because then it's just going to put me in a, in like a meh mood. And I don't like being that. I like being the upbeat, peppy, happy, whatever type person because that's what, that's what's in my heart. Like just the goofy, silly, uplifting everybody person. Um, so I'm not going to let this get me down. It is not going to drag me into the mud. It's just going to make me push. Um, thanks mom. It's just going to make me push and it's going to make me find something. I guess there's something better out there that I'm suited for. And this is the universe's way of being like, you haven't gotten to your path yet. Which, by the way, if you guys remember, I did go live and talk about that. That, um, you know, I felt like the universe was pushing me in different ways when I got the job with the salon. And maybe I just didn't hop on the right path. And this is the universe's way of putting me on the right path. It's like jolting me emotionally <laughs> to go on the right friggin' path. So when things like this happen in life, we have to remember. It's just, it's because we haven't taken the right steps. And it's the world's way of putting us... I hear one of my dogs crying. She must be at Ryan's door. My dog, Belle, like, is in love with my son and needs to be with him all the time when he's here. It's like I lost my dog to my son. So, like I said, it's okay to do a little bit of tears and just get those emotions out, but then you have to wipe those tears off, brush it off, and you need to just move forward and, and find that solution, especially with it being during the holidays. My kids will not have a holiday with nothing under the tree. I know materialistic things aren't, important, but
but as a kid, you want to wake up and see things under the tree. So, I mean, I did it before when I had no money. They were younger, so I got to do most of it at the dollar store, but they're older now too. So there's not, they don't need a lot of things. Like one big gift is enough, and I know I can make that work. Um, but I also know, and my goal is to have a job by the end of this month. So <laughs> I'll, I should be having paychecks in order for Christmas. I just won't be able to shop early like normal. I'll be shopping a little bit later. Hey, Laura. But just know, guys, just know when you're struggling, it's not for nothing. There's a reason. Don't let the pity party last forever. Don't let the pity party take you down that dark Alice in Wonderland hole. We have to stay strong and we have to push through. When you feel like quitting is when you have to dig deep and find all your strength. That's when, that's when your strength is most important. Dig down there as deep as you can and push through. Don't give in. It's easier to give in to the sadness or the pity party and all of that, but that's just wasting time. Don't give in to that. You have to almost be like a whole outer body experience and look down at yourself doing the pity party and be like, uh-uh-uh, you're done. That's what I had to do to myself last night. Mm-mm, you're done. You had your pity party. Now it's time to focus and find the solution. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I know I'm not the only one struggling, especially during the holidays. And I know I'm not the only one that has either had this happen or it's happening right now. And I just wanted to remind everybody that if you look at it a little bit differently, which in all honesty, this morning was the first time I looked at it. Hey, Debbie, as okay, it's not the universe throwing a brick to my face. It is the universe pushing me really hard on the right path or the new path, or the new chapter of the book of Tanya. I swear to God, you guys, I need to write a book. I'm not a writer though, so that's so why it hasn't happened. But if I wrote a book, people would be in awe of all the things that have gone on in my life. But, um, so I just wanted to share with you guys because I know that there's many, many times that we all wanna quit. Sometimes we feel it's easier to just be like, screw this shit, I am just gonna pack a bag with some clothes, pair of shoes, my toothbrush, my deodorant, get the hell out and start over new somewhere else, right? Leave the phone and start new. And it's normal, it's human nature um, to feel that way, right? But guys, we can't give into that. We can't give into that. You gotta push through. There's better things. And this is just the opportunity for me to find that better thing. And there's the opportunities for you too. So, and like I said, sometimes it's hard to not feel like a failure. Sometimes it's hard to not feel like, guys, I'm freaking 42 years old looking for a job. Like that makes me feel like shit. But what can I do? I could be 42 not having a roof over my head and living in a car or living under a bridge or it could always be worse. So when you're going through triumph, when you're going through struggles, why don't you think about what, what, what could be worse? And when you start to think about those things like how it could be worse, you start to be a little bit better and your mindset gets a little bit better about what's, what is going on in your life because you see how much worse it can be. Because sometimes when we're going through struggles and we're having a hard time and we're struggling with with different things in life, we forget how good we have it. And sometimes you need that reminder. So the best way to get that reminder is to think what could be worse than what you're going through. And then you realize what you're going through isn't too bad and you will get out of it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I felt it very important to kind of share what was on my heart and what I've been going through because I have been getting a lot of text messages and Facebook messages and phone calls of people being like, what's going on? You look sad. 
um, your eyes don't look happy like they normally do. And um, so I felt the need to just come on here and chat with you guys, just update you on what's been going on in my life the past couple days, why I've been struggling, but um, I'm gonna find something. I'm gonna find something. Might take a little bit of time, but I'm gonna find something. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember, when you feel like quitting, that's when you need to dig deep, and that's when you need to push a little bit harder with your strength because it just like it takes more muscles to smile than it does to frown it takes more strength to take that step forward when you're struggling than it is to stay put or take steps backwards so have a great day guys bye